Guys, I'm telling you that is not coke. Well, it sure tastes like coke. Well, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, stupid, it is not. Yeah, how do you know I'm stupid? I'm I, not stupid. I can Don't read. I, stupid? I can read. You're giving me a headache. If you two can't get along, I'm going to make you eat dirt. And you'll have to wear the onion sombrero all day long, senor. Real Coke taste. Zero sugar. Hello, so today we're going to do a Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola Zero Taster Challenge. It's a blind test, and what you'll need for that is Coke, Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola Zero, plastic cups, it can be either small or even a little bit bigger, and also tape to distinguish between the two. So I put tape for the Coca-Cola Zero cups and no tape for the Coca-Cola cups. 30 volunteers were given samples of both Coke and Coke Zero. They were asked if they could distinguish between the two drinks. That was uh, zero, and this is zero. Okay. For sure, it's zero, not no. This tastes not good. Zero. That's right. Woo okay, no, this is zero. It's gotta be zero. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Coke zero. This one is Coke zero. That one's regular Coke. Thank you. <laughs> Out of the 30 volunteers, 21 were able to tell which one was Coke and which one was Coke Zero. Nine were either incorrect or not able to tell the difference. The pie chart represents this information. Factors that could affect the results. Coke or Coke Zero consumers would know a difference between the two. On the other hand, non Coke or non Coke Zero consumers would not know how each one tastes. Guessing, there's a 50 50 chance of getting the correct answer. Peer pressure. One volunteer could be saying the same answer as the previous volunteer. Today. 